footing. I'll start us out. Are you live on your Facebook? Almost. Yeah, we go. Tweet. Okay, Mr. Tony Fletcher. I couldn't find my glasses. I'm <laughs> with you. Put on your glasses, you epic nerd. I couldn't find them. I don't know where they are. I have no idea. Oh, shame. Oh, shame. Do you, do you, do you want to quickly ask, wanna, ask the boss? What? You want to ask the boss? No. I asked already. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Because I know who the boss is, buddy. I know in the house of Fletcher who the real boss is, buddy. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, all right. So Tony, I th I, I'm so glad you wanted to do the, the shift book because I think you're the best candidate, not because I work with you and you're my CEO and my team leader and my general manager, not because of that, Tony, but because I feel you have enough elevation in qualifications that I can trust you. And what you're saying is going to be real and legitimate. You're not just regurgitating words. You actually are living the market as we speak right now. Yep, sure are, sure am. Can you give us a quick breakdown on what the industry looks like to you, Tony, um, like right now and where we're going into over the next, uh, say, several weeks? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I mean, listings, current listings, they haven't been this low since May of 2013. Wow. Which is, you know, they're very low. Uh, we had, uh, as of April 30th, we had 30,800 homes on the market in SoCal. And as of Tuesday, it's only gone up to 31,336. That's just kind of positive. I mean, I'm expecting like doom and gloom. No, well, last year we had 42,554 okay, okay. homes on the market. Yeah. But the good news is though, we've only dropped. So um, our pendings are up 23% uh, from 4.30 to last Thursday. And from, it's up another 7% from Thursday to Tuesday. Goodness me, hey. It's, it's really looking, it's looking V-shaped. Um, as of Tuesday, the demand was only down one third where it was down 50%. Got it, yeah. So it's coming back, it's already coming back. We're right, already exactly. seeing it come back up. So nice to prove on Tony. And Tony, for you being in leadership, uh, I have a different perspective than you, and I'll share that with you, Tony. But what's your perspective on your current understanding right now and how you see it moving forward, Tony? Well, I think there's 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 going to be some pent-up demand just because people are have been stuck in their homes for six weeks. I think that's um, when you're sitting around for six weeks with not a lot to do, um, one of the things that people love to do is look at houses online. and um, you know, those numbers are huge. The amount of people online looking at houses. I mean, in the first quarter, Keller Williams on their app alone had 60 million searches. That's insane, Tony. It is insane. Especially when, you know, normally about 5 million homes a year trade in the U.S. Every year. <laughs> so, Tony, I'm thinking like lead generation. I'm thinking, you know, you're paying and buying leads. <laughs> you can't buy 60 million leads to your app or your website to look at homes. Yeah, it's, it, 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 that's a crazy number. It, so people are looking, I mean, and, and if you look at um, just, you know, the 800 agents or so that I can see, you know, real clearly is um, the ones that are, um, I'll call them top agents or, or, you know, near the top, top 20%. They're really, really busy. I mean, gotcha. it's just, um, I can't even explain it, but I will say to the other 80%, it's beyond dead. Wow. And I mean, I don't know if that's the market or if that's them. Um, I feel like a lot of people, from my standpoint, you know, I get to see businesses from, you know, brand new people to, you know, top, top producers. And, um, you know, there's really three questions. You know, are you working less? Are you working the same? Or are you working more? And if the answer is not, I'm working more, you're, the answer is wrong. Right, exactly. Well, you know, well, what do you mean uh, not working? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. You, you should be working more is what you're saying, Tony. You have to be. Yeah. If, if, if sale, if we're down, if demand is down a third, you need to do 33% more lead generation just to stay where you were last year. 
And Tony, now you said lead generation. What does that mean for an agent? Because we, 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 we're, stuck in, we're stuck at home right now, four walls and a roof. What do you mean by that, Tony? So I would say, you know, again, I, I'm a listing. I, I've always been a listings focused person. And I would tell you the same in, in this. You just ask yourself the question in this current environment. Would you rather have a listing or would you rather have a buyer? Listing. Again, there's no judgment. Oh, you okay, can do okay, whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, listing. Yeah. List, I'd rather have a listing. Right. And you can leverage your time. You can be safer. Uh, I just think it's an easier thing. Again, we have a very low inventory right now. So mm. every listing that's priced properly is selling. Right. Absolutely. And I want to share this, Tony. I'm going to go over here. I actually wanted to share this. Um, because right now we're at home, right? So our climate is online, which I, I said enter, but we know that means online. That's really where all the lead generation is going right now. Of course, besides your you know daily phone calls and conversations you're having with your clients and uh, and so forth and uh, negotiating contracts, which goes into the second part of the model, which is um, driving people to like the Keller Williams app to do 60 million plus. I'm sure it's rising, Tony, because. April, April's our launch pad for our season of real estate in America. So yeah. April, you're on fire. So you don't start in April. You're starting like 90 days before. In February, you're getting ready for April launch. Right. Um, and then the, the third model there is to capture, connect, and cultivate, and then close those leads because mm -hmm. July is a peak of our season, right, Tony? Yeah. Um, and then after that, kind of just starts to dip down because we start going, kids are going back to school. I mean, things are different now. There's a new normal, Tony. Right. I don't know what that really is, but things are different. Uh, but I'm telling you from his history, April's the launch, July's the peak, it's that curveball, and then it comes down to the holidays and vacations over and kids are back in school. Um, you know, it gets cooler at, in, our, in our climate, so people sort of hibernate more. Right. Well, and, you know, if you look at the statistics in our area, you know, the – as far as demand is concerned, we're kind of right back where we were at the beginning of January. So, so I mean, here we are sitting, you know, in the middle of May, um, and our demand is kind of sitting at, you know, the beginning of January. And, you know, in, in our area, you know, I would say, you know, things really ramp up by, you know, Super Bowl Sundays is, is really kind of a, a really good marker. I mean, people should be fully back in business <laughs> by that point, but. But that's where we're at as far as demand is concerned. So if you're if you're you know looking at where you are in your business, pretend like today's January first. Oh, oh, I love that. That is so. I've got a chance because yeah. I, because it, I'm talking about me for right now because certainly I was doing open houses in January, and I got leads and I got pre-approved and pre-qualified buyers in January. Then it all stopped. Right. So come February, I mean, I was still doing open houses, but, uh, uh, you know, I, there was this disease with all the virus and so forth. And by May, I mean, it had all come to a dead stop. Uh, I love that. That helps me as well, you know, being a, a professional real estate agent. Oh, wow. It's almost like a fresh start. I'm giving a head start right now. That's right. amazing advice. Yeah, and I think if you look at it, I mean, uh, you know, and we were talking about this even before is that um, – by the time before this hit, you know, we were really, we were in a spring market at the end of January. It ramped up very quickly, you know, more quickly than normal. So, you know, we were already, you know, ready to explode to the upside before this hit. Got so it. again, people always have to buy and sell. There's so many reasons why people have to buy and sell, but the bottom line is they have to. And, uh, you know, my question to everybody is, you know, are you out there, you know, getting your fair share, your unfair share, because it's out there. And yeah. I, I mean, I have, you know, I have the agents in my offices to, to prove it. Ha, ha, ha. So you, you, you're a general manager over um, the Keller Williams in Tustin, Brea, your Belinda, Anaheim Hills right yep. now, right, Tony? Okay. Yep. So you've got literally a thousand plus agents that you're overseeing. Yep. Goodness me. I, 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 I think we have to turn it flash up. So let's get started sure. on the let's shift. This is what's all let's happening. Hey, how you like my office, by the way? Love your office. Fancy, Tony, fancy office. That looks like Dutois all the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's, my, it's my virtual cloud office, Tony Fletcher. I love it. I love it. Tony, um, 
I actually I got this from you, by the way. So I got this book from Tony. It's got a different bind than Tony's. Tony's a little bit more traditional. Uh, I, I, Tony gave this to me, and I'll use this. Um, in cheap. No, no, Tony, Tony's effective. That's what Tony is. Tony's very effective. I always have to have the fancy. Tony has the, you know, uh, well, what can I get my hands on? Is Tony Fletcher style. But I've still done the work. Yeah, absolutely. Tony, uh, in, in this bound book, I've got a little bit of a forward, and it's kind of just a quick intro into the shift. Sure. Do you mind if I just go over a few quick highlights that I did? No, no go ahead. Okay. There, there's, a lovely, there's a lovely statement here by uh, Brian Tracy. You cannot control what happens to you, but you can control your attitude toward what happens to you. And in that, you'll be mastering change rather than allowing it to master you. So a lot of people are freaking out right now. No, take a breather and take control of the situation. And I tell you, when I go pick up food, you know, because sometimes we eat out a little bit. So, I mean, people are complaining and whinging and moaning and trying to tell me what's on the news. Like, I don't need your insight, buddy. I, I got enough of my own concerns to take care of. They're, they're allowing this virus to consume them instead of them taking over their own destiny and so forth. Yeah. Um, I love this. There's no challenges. There's no success. So if there's no obstacles in your way or no um, uh, uh, definitely goals, then there's going to be no success. Um, true. And very true like, You're very right. And through times like this, Tony, it makes us better. We become more efficient. We think smarter. Mm -hmm. we, we transform our businesses a little bit. Am I right? Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, hopefully you've been spending time in your business and on your business during this time. I mean, this is the great time when, again, like I said, if you look at the statistics, we're, we're back in January. I love that. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. Excellent. So Tony, uh, just to continue going on, um, successful achievements, so a successful achievement oriented actions, there's the word actions again, means getting up and flat out running toward what you want. <clears throat> so no right. sleeping in Tony, treat it like a normal business day, Monday through Friday, or my, my, my business days are Sunday through Thursday. Friday is my kind of run errands and grocery shopping. Saturday is my day off, because guess what? Sunday I'm working open houses it's, it's it's contact sport right you know um and yeah. i learned that from you by the way thank you that's my new schedule is from sunday to thursdays flat out five days a week work days friday fridays i kind of take a little bit of a chill go do some grocery shopping be with the family saturdays tony i'm doing like nothing i'm not Good. doing anything ordinary uh, i need a day of rest we all do i don't think everybody does do you, do, you, do you do you have a day of rest yes yeah, sunday <laughs> okay cool uh, let me move on. Um, I do love that he has the four. What I do see that I, I liked it in the four here, Tony, is it's so right. Let me go to this quickly. When it comes to, you know, it, this is business. So you've got to treat it like a business because it pays like a business. You know, the four business, the four business models of a, a million real estate agents. So, Tony, your economical model, know what your numbers you must hit. Focus on appointments, focus on conversion. Because there's a cost to doing business. Yep. Bottom line. Okay, so what's the, what's the economy of that? The lead generation. You don't have a business if you don't have leads, of course. And then it comes to prospecting, doing things like after this, calling those buyers that fell off the map. I have buyers that fell off the map, Tony. They were like just disappeared. Um, we all do. Yeah, exactly. And then budgeting, everything. You've got you've to hold yourself accountable to your expenses and your income and so forth. You've got to know what that means. You've got to have that tangible number in your budget sheet. And then your org chart. You've got to know what you're doing. You, you, you got to, and that's what I like about, uh, uh, about us, Tony, especially Keller Williams, is we're very, very good um, at helping people scale or build their, their um, business models, uh, not only to uh, support their current business, but for also for expansion to hire a staff to recruit other agents, to building a team, um, and then going into expansion into other markets and other areas and other counties. I mean, that's one thing I do like that the Kittowans has mastered, Tony, is I they agree. know how to, they've got a good business model, better than anybody else, Tony. And you have to have models. You, you've got to pick a model and you've got to follow it. And, and you know, it's, um, you know, I think we have uh, definitely a leg up on our competition as far as that goes. 
Right. I want to share this again with you, Tony, just one more time. This is the current statistics, Tony. After the floodgates are opened up and we go back to the new normal, whatever that is, one out of four people is going to be unemployed. So to me, it's actually an opportunity for those that one out of four people, Tony, that, that 25 out of 100, it's time to start getting serious. They should get, to me, get your real estate license because you'll never make more money in your life than being a realtor um, or going to Wall Street, but this is in New York. Um, get something that, 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 that's, that's a profession, that's a title, a CPA, something where you can be an independent contractor, where you can always scale your business, where you're not just getting a paycheck. And over here, Tony, the reason it's so important for us to get back into the workforce, back into um, being an agents for sale, because without homes being sold, there's not much of an economy, Tony, is because for every dollar saved, it's only worth 1.4. So a dollar 40 cents. For every dollar spent in our economy, it goes cycles through five, five and a half times. So that's so you can see them. They like almost like the, I want to call it capital gains. Tony, that's the right word. I just like that though. So we've got to get back into the game. Okay, Tony, I'll continue with this. It was just a nice highlight. So there's one over here, Tony. Where the one thing. What's your one thing? My um, one thing. Well, no, that's no, so, okay. In the shift, we're gonna yeah. What's your one thing, Tony? It's in the shift, but what's your one thing? My my one thing is the same all the time. It's lead generation. Wow. Whether whether I'm an, whether, when I was an agent, and or now that I'm you know running market centers and stuff, it's uh, uh, lead gen. And when's the best time for you to lead, gen, lead generate? I'm an afternoon person. Wow, wow, excellent. So I've had this conversation with a lot of people, and just me saying that I'm an afternoon person has um, uh, a lot of people. Say, oh, great. I never, <laughs> I've been told I have to do it at nine o'clock in the morning, nine to 12 every day. Look, as long as you have it on your schedule and you do it every day and you're consistent about it, who cares when it's on your schedule? It's your schedule, not mine, not Kevin's. It's your right. schedule. Do it when Absolutely. you want to do it. As long as it's done. Because it's got to work for you. I love that too, because it's got to work for you. Absolutely. Right. I mean, it's all about appointments. I mean, look, whether you're taking a listing, or, or I'm recruiting somebody, it's about how many appointments. And again, if you, I've said this a thousand times, I don't run the recruiting business any differently than I ran the agent business. It's about appointments. Appointments and how many appointments get converted. That's it. Mm. I, I love this because I, 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 I'm having a hard time lately with all these agents that think they are all of a sudden master recruiters. So I'll tell you, I'll get all kinds of invitations, all kinds of likes and requests and on especially linkedin i've got this new amazing opportunity for you i'm going <laughs> hey i was talking about tony fletcher to recruit you have no idea who you're trying to recruit hey it's, kevin will you take a look at my model yeah absolutely I absolutely get your opinion on this model i think they got me twice and eventually i realized oh okay they all taught the same thing but agents just focus on one thing tony actually well, the one thing which is buying selling and helping their clients invest in what is that bottom line appointments Point all about there. appointments that's a training so one thing that exactly so so what matters most is your one thing then focus on that and like right. you said so your one thing is lead generation for me it's open houses i love to do open houses because tony it's a context for to me people that come to my open house not all of them but i'll say a ratio say four to one two two to one is that you can buy or sell or invest or even long term to build relationships so uh that's also because i don't have a really big sphere so right. I didn't go to school in America. I don't, I don't have family, friends. My, my, my mother and brother live up in Oregon and I'm in Southern California, you know? Um, so anyway, that's good there. I'm almost done, Tony. Then we'll hit you up. Uh, I showed you the four business models, Tony. We're getting to the end where I want to I wanna run this by Tony. If uh, Drive through to breakthrough. It's over here. This is just before the end, okay, Tony? It's just like anything. You have to give it all you have. If you want to run through a wall, don't judge your efforts based on the wall, on the obstacle, Tony. Let the wall judge your effort and you deal with it. The wall isn't your issue. The virus isn't our issue, Tony. Our efforts are our issues. Right. You can either freak out and run for the hills or you can run for the avalanche and or the, the tidal wave of, of, that I see of opportunity and success happening right now, Tony. Right. I understand people are losing lives and it's very sad. 
We've all gotten very sick from this. I've got sick a few times this season. Thank God it's just a cough for us, uh, running us. It's a sad time. At the end, it doesn't mean a civilization stops. You know, we've right. got to be civil. We've got to be caring and loving towards um, everything and anything. At the end of the day, that doesn't mean you just give up on life. Um, if you want to... Well, go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead, Tony. I'm just going to say, look, we, we have um, protocols. We have safety measures. And, um, you know, you just can't stop living your life. I mean, is it different? Of course. And I think at this point, it's been six weeks. Um, if you haven't gotten over it, I would say you need to get over it. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You've got to, you, 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 you have to figure out what your, what your next steps are going to be. And, um, you know, the time for, uh, you know, this is not affecting just, you know, a certain percentage of people. This is, right. this affects all of us. We're all, we're all in the same boat. So your problem is Kevin's problem and Tony's problem and the guy across the street's problem and the person down the block, everybody that's in America is we're going through the same thing. We're all locked up. Right. So figure out how to run your business like it is today. So Tony, in saying that, thank you for that. That's coming from Tony Fletcher's mouth. Let's go to part one, Tony. Okay. Okay. Um, the market shift. Tony, do you mind leading us into this piece? Because I need your professional expertise. Yeah, you know, um, obviously, you know, the first part is always goes over about being a cyclical business. And, you know, and I get all that. Um, I'm going to go back to um, the three types of, of markets. You know, you've got a, a, a buyer's market, a balanced market, and a seller's market. And it went, boom, fire. It was a buyer's market. And that lasted for about two weeks. And then, it, and then we're, we're back to really kind of a balanced to a slight seller's market. And if you go to your MLS, and I don't care where you're watching this from, go to your MLS. There is a huge break. Everything that's priced properly is selling. Everything that's not priced properly, and again, it could be as little as 5 or 6%. And what I've searched in my MLS, just 5% or 6% off the price is sitting. Hmm. So, I mean, again... The question is, uh, in our area, there's 30 grand sitting there. So if you don't know how to have a conversation with your seller about price reductions, call call Kevin, call me, call somebody, but right. figure out how to have that conversation and have it because there's $30,000 sitting there in our area for your listing, not selling. And it, again, it this is one time when days on market is not as big of a deal as it might normally be, but you have an opportunity. If you can get your price right, it's going to sell. So get it mm. right. Absolutely. I love that, Tony. I love that. And, and, and it is, there are trends, right, Tony? There are trends. There are different stages. Again, when, like real estate for us, it's all I kind of really know in a sense, Tony. You have to pay attention to the trends. You have to pay attention to what the market's telling you. Right. you. You don't dictate the market. It dictates you. Right. The, what the seller wants for their home, what they think in their emotional mind, their home is worth one million. It's only actually worth eight hundred thousand. Tony, the home is worth eight hundred thousand. I don't decide that. Mister Tony Fletcher doesn't decide that. Um, the, the 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 big top agents of the world don't decide that. The seven point seven billion people in the world decide that because it's their it's their um, their analytics. It's almost their their um, their wants and needs that are telling us what the home is worth, not that one individual. Right. Look, and it's, it's, you know, all of this boils down to demand. So we still have the demand. The demand is still there. But again, it's, it's about pricing. And it's about, it, you have lower demand. You also have lower inventory. So again, there's still a little bit more demand than inventory. So it's a slight seller's market. But it's there. Damn, dude, you're such, you such an epic nerd, Tony. I am. I, and I love that because I, I, and what I like about you, Tony, is, out of the few leaders that I know, and I say this with confidence, you always give it to me straight. That's what I like about you, Tony. There's no, there's no candy coating BS with you. No. Uh, and I want to keep it real because we were changing people's lives here. Um, Agreed. Tony. Yeah, awesome. Tony, you're in charge, sir. Well, look, I, the, the next piece that is really that all, has always stuck out to me in this book is that um, in order to thrive, you have to survive. 
And, um, and that ju- does not mean just your real estate business. That means you personally, it means your family, that means those around you. And I feel like for the vast majority of us, we've done that. And that's why I say it's time to get over it and move on with, w- with your business. Um, you, if you're working the same amount of hours or time or whatever, you're, however you set your business up, it, the answer is wrong. You've got to work more right now. You, if if sales are down 33%, in order for you just to maintain what you did last year, you're still going to have to do 33% more. So if your goal was to do a lot more than last year, then you're, the answer is I have to work a lot more. And again, it's about being uncomfortable. I, I, I agree with you there, Tony. I, I, give me one idea. So right now I'm an agent and I'm just frozen. I'm just okay. frozen, Tony. And I'm looking at you and I'm listening to what you're saying, but I really don't have a clue. Give me some spark, some at least one option that I have right now in my circumstances to break free of that mindset and give me some some momentum in my business. Uh, I mean, as far as, you know, to call, do, your title, do. Call, your, call your title rep and ask them to send you a, a list of wherever you, wherever you are, whatever areas you want to work, a list of all the um, out of area owners. Send them all a letter. Call them. Because nobody else is. Oh, that's so. Because Tony, nobody else is. That is classic. Not enough do. I mean, okay. some do, but but not enough. I mean, look. How about Airbnb? Are all those are are Airbnbs being rented out every night? Nope. nope. Mm-hmm. A lot of those people are suffering right now, and you don't have to even get. All you have to do is go to the website. Go to the website. Click on the person's name, send them an email. Have you considered selling? Tony, I've got goosebumps. Uh, that is probably the, the golden nugget. If anything from us talking about the shift chapter one right now, Tony, that one golden nugget there, that is so, it's simple, Tony. That is simple. simple. And, and I, there's no I, research I, required. Like, I had an agent call me on Saturday and we talked about his business a little bit and, and, uh, and I gave him that. And I said, he sent me a text a little while later saying, I'm, I'm working on an email. And I just text him back. Are you interested in selling? <laughs> <laughs> Stop overthinking it. It's not that hard. Just do it. it it's, you know, my maps coach, um, he and I talk about action all the time. Uh, and he knows I'm an action person. And he says, okay, so are you getting into action or are you getting into massive action? And honestly, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't getting into massive action. And so mm-hmm. I would say the same to you. Anybody that's listening or watches this down the road, what kind of action are you getting into? It's easy to get into action, but it's really hard to get into massive action. Let mm-hmm. it become your one thing. Massive action. Because massive, massive action means... Massive action means massive success, a massive uh, return on investment. Absolutely. Right. Well, what else? Do you have anything else special for us? Any other nuggets out of chapter one? Yeah. Um, uh, this is something that I, I have a bunch of stars by it. And, and, and you know, here's if the truth. Way, if Not anyone everyone will survive, but anyone can. Right. If you want this book, what I'll do is, Tony, if, if, if anybody wants this book, Tony, I'll put a link in the description box below. They can go and get it because uh, I'm going to be doing this with Tony on a weekly basis every Friday until we finish all 12 chapters. And then Tony might give us some other books he wants to cover, which will be great, Tony, if you want to awesome. give an idea on that on the future of that. But let's just cover shift first. But Tony is the real deal. I'm kind of the showman. Um, but if you want to, you can get the book. I'll put the link in the description box below. Get it so that when Tony speaks about the different chapters and goes into detail with them, you'll be along the journey with him. Sorry about that, Tony. Quick little. Uh, oh, that's okay. I mean, the only other thing that I have that I uh, on this uh, is the law of equilibrium section is that um, you know, you're really building a fortress around what you have, um, maintaining the number of sales you currently have. It's going to have a net effect of giving you more market share. And as we as we continue through this, um, agents are going to get out of the business. There's going to become less competition, uh, and 
by having less competition, there's going to be less sales. There's also going to be less competition. And there's going to be winners and losers. And you've got to decide right now, am I a winner or am I a loser? Am I going to be a winner or am I going to be a loser? That's a Tony. Very, very simple. This isn't rocket science. Nope. Exactly, Tony. Am I going to crush? Am I give it everything? Or am I going to do nothing? Because you know, if you get nothing, you get nothing, Tony. Right. So no, I agree. One thing with me, I've, I, in this quarantine process, Tony, I've been sitting and going, you know me, I, I, I have to keep moving. I, I'm a very busy human being. And um, I don't have much money because I, I can't really invest in anything right now. So what else can I do? I can, I've, I've got effort, right? I've got time. So what's right. the best use of my time? What's the best use of your time? And then just take all that effort, all that, all that time that you have and put it into that service, lead generation. And so I'm not just talking about real estate. I'm talking about even... Uh, um, car salesmen, um, people that are, are, are selling products online, mm-hmm. um, people that are, if I have a retail shop or, uh, you know, pizza delivery is doing really good right now for some reason. I'm looking at the stock market, all these pizza deliveries, they're having a grand old time, more power to them, but they're all having a massive, they're putting all their efforts into online branding and marketing of their products or their services to keep them alive. Right. That's what all the efforts are. And their effort isn't in a uh, a TV commercials online because most people are spending an average of three hours or more a day now on social media and five or probably eight hours a day on, on TV and Netflix and Disney plus because I know my family is they're, they're literally that's what they're doing watching Netflix and Disney and whatever it may be All right, and you've got to find out where those customers are now uh, they may not be in the same place as they were six weeks ago so you've got to find the, the, the buyers and sellers that want to sell now and again, I just use that that Airbnb reference is just it's just really simple. I mean, anybody across the country can go to Airbnb and click on owners in their area and just ask them, have you considered selling? Because they're not renting out. They're all sitting vacant. They're all making mortgage payments that are not being paid by you know nightly visitors. Right. So I would say they're pr- probably pretty likely to sell. And not only that, but those homes are for the most part very nice inside. They're already staged for you. And you, I mean, again, if if somebody bought one of those on a shoestring and was in a busy area and it was rented out all yeah. the time, and then now it's not at all, it's not going to take a, but two months to, and we're there to figure out that they can't afford it if nobody's renting it. Right, Tony. So actually, it's, it's very simple, Tony, because they might not be motivated. They're motivated, but not motivated right now to sell. However, right. 30, 60, 90 days, maybe even next year, it doesn't matter. What you've created is a relationship. Right. And you showed them that you that, that you were smart enough and cared enough to contact them now during this time right. of of uh, a, a pandemic to actually do something about it. When, like you said, not everybody is, but a few are. But those that are paying attention to this video, that's a super easy idea because all you need is your phone, your yep. laptop, and yep. you're back in business again. You can prospect all day. There's enough. There's enough for you to prospect. Eight hours a day, if you'd like to. Uh, uh, so Again, you don't have to hear back from them. It's not necessary for you to hear back from them until they're ready to sell. But right. just keep talking, keep keep sending them messages, and keep asking. Uh, again, the pain may not be where it needs to be today, but it will be down the road. Right, out of sight, out of mind. If you never did yeah. it in the first place, they're not going to acknowledge you. Guys, this time next week, one p.m. Friday next week, I'll have Mr. Tony Fletcher with me again. Tony's going to take us through the shift book. Um, if you don't have it, you can get it. I'll have some links in the description box on Facebook and YouTube below. Um, uh, if you want to reach out to Tony, Tony, um, I, I, Tony, I, I know you're a very um, humble man, okay? But I need to brag about you right now. Uh, I know Tony, I've known him for years now. And I know him very, very well because he's mentored and groomed me and he's taken very good care of me. So I want to say this, if you, if you have any... It doesn't matter what agency you're with. It doesn't matter what business you're in. Maybe you look at getting your real estate license, or maybe you, you, you'd you started, but you haven't ended, or whatever it may be, or you, or maybe you're just in a, in a kind of a funk. Tony Fletcher's part of my Facebook. Uh, reach out to Tony. Facebook message him. Ask him. He's very approachable. Tony is just like all of us. He wants to see everybody have their fair share. He wants to see everybody successful and happy and healthy and wealthy. Right, Tony? Yeah, absolutely. Very, That's Tony, what we're here for. Exactly. To help people. Sorry, Tony. Well, that's what we're here for to help people. Absolutely. And Tony, it's symbiotic. I'm it successful. Is. And and guys, uh, let, me, let me put it to you this way. I've had some major, major deals where I'm like, wow, this is not overwhelming, but maybe I need a little bit of help. Guess who I, I, I reach out to my team leader, my CEO, Tony Fletcher. 
and he's got my back. Tony's come with me to Hollywood before to give me studio executives to sell a motion picture that they had last year because it was such a big deal. That's who I want on my side. I don't want a broker or a manager or a CEO that's untouchable. I'm not interested. My business is important to me because that's how I get paid. So either you're with me or against me. Tony is with me all the time. He doesn't always reach out to me because he's a very busy man straight away. However, he gets back to me in a short period of time, maybe that same day or with a via text message. The bottom line is, is that this is, I want you to become Tony's friend because he's got, he's such a valuable asset to your business and he's such a valuable friend to me. That, that's why that's why I'm in a friendship with Tony. There's a bit, the benefit is he's a valuable friend. <laughs> I'm looking as an asset now, Tony, you're an asset to me. Oh, I appreciate that. Now Tony's I'm an asset. You're a valuable asset to my, to, to, to my friendship. Sometimes that, that word's a little less than asset. And, and, and you're a valuable friend. I mean, I'm just thinking business and I'm going uh, with assets. And um, Tony, thank you for your time. Same time next week. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. Chapter two. And then Tony, give us some more insights, some more advice, some more nuggets. Yep. Um, this is valuable. Thank you very much. And uh, have a great weekend. And I'll speak to you soon, Tony. You too. I'll talk, I'll talk to you next week. Okay. Cheers. Thanks, Kevin. Bye-bye.